Hello, my name is Teresita Blanco de Assisi Sister, and today we're doing a Barbie photo shoot because it's Monday. In the background, we're listening to Elias by Mendelssohn. But that's not important, that's just background noise. And I'm photographing my the Barbie friend Christy. I think, yeah, I think that was her name. Uh, like a Goldie. That's, so yeah, so there you have it. Like I went for it. Like she's the Barbie Rewind. This is what this is what they used to look like in the 80s. So then I decided to dress her up in uh, some nice skinny jeans. It's a good thing that for the most part of the Barbies wear like the same dress size. So if you buy an outfit for one Barbie, you, it works well for all of the other ones. Mm, she's amusing. Now the outfit that she's using in normally belongs to like uh, the to my signature brunette doll, the the one that's very bendy, uh, the one that, that's most articulating. Like this one moves kind of, but not that, but not that much, cause like she, yeah, she has limited range on how much she can bend the knee. So if you tell her to bend the knee, she won't. Well, she will a little bit, but that's it. I just mellowed out. It's like Monday and one, and it's hard to come out with anything fun to like banter over what I do, like dog photo shoots. Okay. Give me a topic. <laughs> Yay! Give me a topic. Alright. So your dog has turned people. It has nothing to turn like. Alright. It's fine, I can turn my head that much. And they're like, oh, why do I have that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, that's a little unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, the human neck. Like, when you're taking photos of them, it's something that you don't. That you don't bend the neck that much back because then they're gonna look unnatural because humans' necks don't don't turn that much. Well, they can, but then but then the human drops dead. And also that fan, uh, we made a, she drew it on like another video. I painted it. Yeah. So like you can see the video how she made that fan. Yeah, and fancy. Yeah, uh, a fan for my fan, fancy fan. <laughs> Sunglasses keep falling off. Here, hold on to this. Ow. There we are. Now we take the photo. Ching ching. Like I, like I went out uh, yeah, a few days ago to like, like, the only thing that gets me to go out of the house these days is mostly to like go, to like go eat and stuff. And we went to Alicia de España the other day. Yeah, like, I like eating sweets there. I wanted to try all of them, but they only had some of them. But they were good. I mean, the ones that you tried were really good. Yeah. Plus, maybe the ones that they don't have because they're not as good. They're like, okay, that, that, those are not our best. We're going to remove them. Maybe like in the Little Dragon Cafe. Yeah, maybe it's like a Little Dragon Cafe deal. I like the Little Dragon Cafe game. I also like like the city game where where I'm like this where I'm like a holy diver. Like they gave me like the 
Like the play cycle is very similar to Little Dragon Cafe, so so that's why uh, so that's why I'm familiar with it, you know, kind of. I don't know, maybe it's just like anything having to do with food or managing food or feeding food to other people. I just like food a lot. That's why I diet so much so that I can like eat a lot. Ugh. Like stuff, it's like not eating much so you can go eat some more. Ugh. But you know, that's the life. That's the life I chose for myself. No, I didn't eat shoes and it just like, you know. Oh, we so much because like before that we were like gonna go. We was to go to the gym more often, but then like, mm -hmm. but then that happened and now, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just very difficult to get me out of the house. But uh, my love is here again because since, <laughs> since I do those video stuff because like I can't summon the energy to like go out and wanna. Plus, oh my god, there's like so much traffic. Not to my website, I mean, not to the YouTube channel, but, to, but in general, like the real physical world. You can't go, if you want to go anywhere, you have to get used to the idea that you're going to be going there at like 5 miles per hour. Because like, there is so many people in like South Florida. So many people. And so many sharks. Well, not that I like swimming in the ocean because of the fishes. Like, even if, like, they weren't sharks, I don't know, I just... Fishes just freak me out because, like, they get a little too close. And I like my personal space and whatnot, you know? Huh. Well, that's just the basic facts out of my daily life and whatnot. Yeah. Plus, I'm out of doll stuff. Yeah, doll stuff are nice. Mm -hmm. I like doing doll stuff. It's a nice change of pace from art stuff, you know? And you get to listen to music that you normally wouldn't listen to. <laughs> Like that music, like, I found that, like, we rescued them. They were throwing away those vinyl records when we rescued them. From, like, dumpster diving and what. <laughs> most of them are, uh, most of the ones we have over there are, like, operas. And they're better than ones where people don't sing. I don't know, because, like, uh, the singing type of opera, like, if I didn't tell you that this was a lie, yeah, you will be like, it's a, this sounds the same, this sounds the same, that also sounds the same. You know, everything sounds the same. It's such a pain. But then again, like, everyone used to copy everyone by then. Kind of like how right now that everyone copies everyone. Mm -hmm. I don't copy people. Yeah, yeah. people copy us. <laughs> oh, yeah, we freaked everyone out with that sudden amount of like, subscribers. And it doesn't go down. Yeah, I could get in, like a thousand new subscribers every, every, every day. Between a thousand and one thousand five hundred. But you should, but it's usually more than a thousand. But yeah, that's uh, basically things in a nutshell. Ah, uh, the this is over. I gotta like get off flipping and reversing. Mm. And I gotta, I gotta do it. See, I show you the vinyl record, so you know what a vinyl is, because you hear me saying vinyl this, vinyl that, and then uh, you'll be wondering, what the hell is a vinyl? Now you know what it is. And knowing it's half the battle.
So yeah, it's music in stereo. So you can hear it with both your human ears. <laughs> I can find it hilarious how the vinyl records say it, it, it talks about stereo as well as if it's the last poke in the desert. <laughs> That's like a Cuban thing. That's like a Cuban thing. The thing that you think you're so that because you're acting like you're that, like you're the last Coca-Cola fan in the entire desert. <laughs> you know, the, like acting like you're uber important. So that's another thing you can do to like tell someone that they're following. Tell them, ah, oh, you think you're the last Coke in the desert, <laughs> the last Coca-Cola in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Mind you, I was saying like that doesn't insist for Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, right. that, that, that tells you everything you need to know. I was winning the Coke War. <laughs> yeah, in Cuba, who won the Coke War? <laughs> nah, 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 Pepsi. <laughs> no, the one who won was Coca Cola. <laughs> Like, uh, there's a, like, uh, there, there's even an alcohol drink that's called, uh, Free Cuba, and it's not done with Pepsi, it's done with Coca-Cola. Cuba Libre, you can Cuba say Cuba Libre. It. Yeah, it's just Coke and rum. <laughs> Coke and rum, but, you know, <laughs> not Pepsi and rum. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what it, it tastes like, because I don't, like, drink alcohol drinks or whatever. Oh yeah, I remember like in a game that I played called Tropico, eh, you can steal like monuments from like other countries. And then if you steal like the Jesus from Brazil, he had, and you put him in like the ocean, his superpower turns uh, sea, salt water into rum. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where they got that from. Maybe like yeah, the real. Yeah. Tropical, one corner or another. That the, 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 the tropical five, the, the, the good one. Yeah, the good one. Like, the the, the, the other one, the other one has too many glitches and it and it keeps breaking every time I. Uh, I every well, I was supposed to play on the PS4. I believe that on the PS5 it has the 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 power to be able to to do all of the things that can break it. Yeah. Well, then again, that's what they said about all the games on the PS5 and they still break. Yeah, no. It's like, come on. Mm -hmm. And it's a PS5, so if it's breaking, it's, it's that your game sucks. Mm -hmm. Also, I miss like the long campaigns that had like plot and whatnot. Now, that's something that they stop like doing with like uh, video games in general. Like, uh, what happened to the this one, this two technology? Yeah. You know? Or that the safe data was usable across different types of games. Like, for. Yeah, like, Dove Hack Legend, you can use the safe data from one game to the other and then, like, continue from one game to the other. Yeah. Even the PlayStation 5 version does that. But or you know, but you know, a game that doesn't do it, Final Fantasy VII. No, every it? time you, every time you start a Final Fantasy VII story and whatever, you gotta, you gotta get everything that you got in the previous Final Fantasy. Well, it was official they promised they were gonna add, but like, yeah, they, they promise a lot of things that they never deliver. And then they and then they just fill the the game with with nonsense in order to excuse the fact that they're charging you gazillions of money for it. I, I have a lot of bad things to say about the Final Fantasy remake. And if that makes me a creepy ghoul that keeps yelling, give me what you want, give us what you what, give us what we want, then so be it. I will be a creepy ghoul. <laughs> Also, Sephiroth shows up too much. Yeah, like he... Like, like in the original game, it seemed like it was Cloud who was hunting Sephiroth and Sephiroth being barely away, it being like, like, who the hell are you, man? Like, the first time you find him in Nibio, he'd be like, who are you? 
I know who you are because like the one that I know is sad, not you. I was like, who the hell are you? What did I do to you, you crazy psychopath? <laughs> I, I, feel like I had no idea who the hell you are or why you're chasing after me. <laughs> but, then I, but then they just retcon it in the other one. Like, first of all, Cloud isn't even a soldier, canonically. So he's not dying from Marco or COVID or whatever the hell they said that he was dying from. <laughs> Did he say mierda? No, I think you just heard bad words because you like to hear bad words in Marvel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he did say mierda. <laughs> <laughs> they sang very melodically shy, shy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shy. <laughs> it's funny when you hear that opera <laughs> when you hear opera <laughs> not opera the, the person uh, opera music saying bad words and then so <laughs> but I guess it's fine if you sing it That's weird. Well, so yeah, a curse words in songs. Alright, we're done with the Barbie photo shoot. Bye bye and God bless. <laughs>